right, we are live. We are live. Oh, you know what? I better take my mic down one more in case I get excited. Bam. All right, we are live, baby. I'm waiting for Octavia to get in here. Okay. To tell me if I have anybody speaking. All right, but, we are live. Ooh, let me turn that All right, down. All right, folks, now we're going live again. I'm going to wait just to see if someone comes in here at all. The reason I'm doing this is... Um, I just did a live yesterday, and that was on uh, Chicago-style hot dogs. But my settings weren't quite right. What happened was it was only streaming at like 480 or something like that. So I did some tweaks, and I wanted to see if I could get it to uh, at least HD uh, 720. And I think I've cracked that code. Still haven't gotten to the, the uh, 1080p yet. But anyway, I'm working on it. Uh, so somebody in here, baby? Yeah, we got, what, four four people with us right now? Four people? Yep, already. Cooking with Corey, Gino E., uh, Philip Weaver, Mikhail Carlson, and Tina Sobleski. Outstanding. <laughs> I'm going to wait before I start this cook, guys. Um, for a few more people to come in, let me adjust something here. Matter of fact, let me do this so you guys can see me while I'm doing my adjustments. Uh, Gino says your volume is hecka hecka low, I think, but that could just wait, be Wait, wait, my volume's low? He well, said that could just be him, though. All right, anybody else is my audio low? Let me know. Uh, Let yeah, Gino me. says, it sounds like your mic is far away. Uh, but Mikhail says volume is okay here. Okay, Mikhail, anybody else? Can I get somebody else to chime in while I'm doing this real quick fast? I'm going to... Cooking with Corey says, hey. Hey, Corey, <laughs> what's going on? How's everything? How's my audio? How's my audio? That's my concern right now Corey oh. says audio is good okay good all right guys this is what I'm looking at right now I'm trying to get my uh, give me a second I popped my chat out because it's not working in OBS so I'm just popped it out of YouTube and I'm moving it over to my OBS so that I can see it uh, Brandy Beast and Tina uh, they say your volume is too low all right, I uh, will fix that here in a second. Thank you, y'all. I'm doing my tweaks. James right. Vismo said it's low, too. It's low. All right, let's do this. Bam, how about now? <laughs> Tell me how that is. I turned it down because I didn't want to be peaking. Is it better? What are you saying? Um, there's a delay, so we'll oh, wait. Oh, I for understand. It. So let's see if that's better, and if it is, then I'll turn Octavia's up as well. Yeah, James says he has his volume up to the max. Oh, uh, I understand, so. James. All right, y'all, uh, let me know. Let me know. Let me see your mic, baby. I'm going to turn you up a little bit. Okay. Just one bam. All right. All right, guys, tell me, how am I sounding? Uh, Brandy says good. New, um... Jacqueline and Dad says good evening, good folks. Uh, hey, how you doing, J and D? Jacqueline, Dad. All right, guys, my audio's good, and thanks for that. I'm trying to tweak it. Yeah. All right. Can, can we are good. Say again. You gonna go back to the camera? Uh, yeah. I just want to make sure I'm good to go here. Let me go back to this camera. Yeah. Everyone's saying it's good now. Outstanding, guys. I'm gonna go grab me. How embarrassing! I'm gonna grab me a beer, and we're gonna start this cook. Bear with me, Tay. Entertain the people. <laughs> I'm, I'm not entertain. Oh my gosh, you're gonna leave me hanging like that. Yes, I am. Okay, well, how's everyone tonight? Also, for us, there's a slight delay, so it'll take me a minute to get through the comments. I mean, no, for you, it'll be a slight delay. We got more and more people coming in. More and more. <laughs> what? The beverage of choice for today, y'all, is Stella. Stella Atois. Atois. And we're getting ready to start this cook. Once All again, folks, right. I say I apologize for running around. I've been working and working trying to tweak this. You guys don't know how bad I want this to be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been working on it and tweaking it and trying to get everything perfect. And then I also had to get my prep done. All right, I'm going to let you know who's here. Cooking right. with James is here. Uh, Rock Johnson. All right. Uh, Jay Harris. Hey, Millie Jay. Mill. Who? Millie Mill. Hi, Millie Mill. Um, sorry to Jacqueline and Dad. Mm -hmm. New York Me says hi. Hello. 
Did I say Cooking with James already? I, I think I did. Yes, you did. Cooking uh, with James. Yeah, so that's where we are right now. All right, folks. This is what we're doing. We are doing a pan-fried, uh, pan-fried, look at the wrong camera. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing a pan-fried parrot fish. All right. I've never had parrot, fi parrot fish before. Correction. I've never cooked parrot fish before. <clears throat> I'm only going to do one and do a quick salad presentation and then uh, uh, do a taste. I don't know. I had to take pictures and then do a taste test. <laughs> Social media. <laughs> um, and then I'll be moving right along because I got five more of these things to cook. I know it's late, but we eat at crazy times here in the Daddy Cook's house. All right, guys. So, anywho. Here is my supporting cast. But bam, parrotfish. Yes, my hands are clean. Parrotfish. The reason they call it a parrotfish is because it looks like a parrot. Look at that face. <laughs> See that beak? <laughs> it's, it it, it kind of resembles a parrot. So they call it a parrotfish. I got this from my fishmonger. Correction. Correction. Octavia went to the fish market oh. for me. <laughs> Uh, because I had to, I had a prior engagement I had to take care of. So I told you, I told her, listen, sweetie, I said, uh, I need to go get some fish. She said, no, I didn't. What kind of fish? <laughs> <laughs> Not that face. <laughs> and um, I said, I either wanted some, I didn't want tilapia. I wanted either some sea bass, some red snapper. I did mention parrot fish, but I want them to be about a pound ish. So each fish ish is going to be one dish delish. That's so stupid. <laughs> And the phone rings. Oh, you, you Don't worry about it. Uh, Your mom will get it. Okay. Told you. How Fun fact, though. Uh, I went up there. They didn't have black. They had. They didn't have black bass in stock, but it was up there, and I was kind of like, ah, I want really? to try the black bass. Yeah. But we, we went with the parrotfish. All right. All right. Anyway, guys, back to the fish. But bam. Like that camera work. The fishmonger. We already had them. Uh, who was it anyway? Let me go back to this camera. Was it a. Uh, uh, Wesley or uh, the other guy? Wesley. Will wasn't there. All right. I know my fish market. One guy's <laughs> named Will. One guy's named Wesley. Uh, so uh, I just was curious. Anyway, back to the fish. All right. It's already been scaled. It's been cleaned. All right. My fish mongers did all that for me. And you know you have a good fish when one, it smells like, let me do this camera again. It should smell like ocean. If it smells like fish, fishy fish, Get rid of it. Don't eat that thing. It should smell like the ocean, and the eyes should be clear. Look at them eyes. Yeah, my balls is clear. All right, guys. Boom. That's the good thing. That's the things about the fish. All right, now to prepare this thing, let me turn up my oil. Make sure that's medium. Good. I am only going to score this down to the bone a couple of times. Down to the bone, folks. I say a couple of times, I meant to say like four. Down to the bone. And then I'm going to score it in the opposite direction. Boom. I'm a lefty, forgive me. Down to the bone. Boom. Hey, hey, Randy B says, you always make your beer look so tasty. <laughs> My beer is tasty. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Score, 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 and we're going right back this way. Score. Gino, he says, I've never heard of parrotfish, never ate it, I don't think. Oh, really? Interesting. Cooking with James says, that fish has some chompers, LOL. <laughs> I know, right? Vince Weaver, he says, what's going on, Phil? Atlanta in the house. All right, how you doing? <laughs> now, guys, all I'm going to do here is I'm going to salt and pepper on the inside. A little bit of salt, a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. Do that around. A little bit of garlic. <laughs> Mikhail Carlson, he says, I will send you a can of, oh, I cannot pronounce that, but what? he says he'll send you a can of this sub substance. I don't know, but it's, he says that's the fishiest fish smell ever. Love it or hate it, but you gotta try it on the street. What do you say? I can't find it. Look out, look out, look out. Send you a can of... Some... Is that Strami? that stuff in the can? <laughs> I think that is. Kosher salt, y'all. And some pepper. 
Anything on the Albert other side? Albert Anderson, he says, hello, everyone. Hey, welcome, Phil. Hello, hello. A little bit of garlic again. Just going to put it in the cavity. In the slits, I mean. A little bit of salt. A lot of salt. <laughs> uh, air fryer rip booger. Remember? Hey, booger. Hey, yeah. Diane. Uh, they say Phil's back home and doing his thing. Yes, indeed. <laughs> All right, guys, that's a simple prep. Salt, pepper, garlic, SPG. Bam. Mikhail, he says, oh, yeah, it is. It's ferment fermented herring. Fermented. I heard about that. I heard about that. Let me I've rinse my hands real that. quick fast. I forget what country it's from, sweetie. But it's supposed to be, oof. Oof. <laughs> it's supposed to be, ew <laughs> All right. Now, over here, baby, if you can frame for me. Over mm -hmm. here, I have in this pan. Ooh, bear with me. Bear with me, y'all. This is live. In this pan, I have grapeseed oil, a pretty good amount. All right. I use grapeseed oil because it has a pretty high flash point. And I use clarified butter or ghee. I make this myself. I got a video on it. You guys can check it out. I might even link it if I remember to do that. So I got this at medium heat. I'm bumping up to medium high. I'm simply going to put this fish in, slide her in, and I'm going to let this bad boy, bad boy, let me make sure it's hot enough. Yep. I'm going to slide her in. And I'm going to let that bad boy go for about uh, five minutes per side. Now, while I'm waiting, let me do a quick salad. I'm going to wash this up real quick. And uh, I'll be right back with y'all. Bear with me. What we got in common, sweetie? Uh, Dutch, Daddy Dutch Barbecue, he says, hey, I'll just stop him by uh, for a quick second. Had a little procedure. Been sleeping on and off. Take care, all. All righty. Take care, man. Take care. Bear with me, folks. I know you hear me, but don't see me. I'm washing my board off. Okay, Auntie McNeil, she uh, asked. Say um, again. What does this fish taste like? Is it firm or is it soft? We will find out. <laughs> yeah, we've never tried this fish. Well, I've never cooked wait, it at home. You've tried it. I've tried it at a restaurant. I'm going to see how I do it. Okay. All right. Now, guys, while we wait, we are going to simply do this. And I've washed all this produce before. Hand. Camera. Bam. We're going to do a quick, simple salad. Okay, to answer a previous question about where the uh, canned fishy, fi fishiest fish smell comes from. Okay. Uh, he says it comes from, Mikhail says it comes from Sweden. They Sweden. Eat, it during, eat it during midsummer. Okay. I had heard of it. New York just, me says you taught me how to make chitterlings about eight years ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's one of our most popular videos, by the way. Awesome. All right. This off. Rock Johnson, he says, taught me how to make chitterlings too. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right, let's change camera angles real quick, fast. There you go. So y'all can see me while I'm doing what I'm doing, even though you can't exactly see what I'm doing. All right, baby. What else is happening, comments wise? Uh, Tanjia, uh, she asks, hey, how are you doing? I am doing amazing, as always. All right, guys, this is romaine lettuce. I happen to think it makes a very good, uh, very good salad. This has already been washed. I did it beforehand. All right, let me give y'all some, some of this action. Bam. <laughs> over there like you chase the camera i'm micromanaging hand and arm signals and stuff <laughs> yeah it's awesome let me check my fish real quick fast uh mikhail asks is it possible for him to send this to you he would gladly do so just hook him up i just gave this a quick flip it's not quite done did you hear me is it possible for him to send me the fishiest fish smell. Well, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I say yes, I gotta eat it. <laughs> On stream. 
<laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you know what? We can do that. But um, unfortunately, I'm due to leave here. I don't want to say when. I can't, but uh, soon. So we might have to postpone that until I return. If that's all right, my friend. And I ain't scared. I was just joking. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> <Little> punk. <laughs> It smells great. Does it? Yeah. Thank you, sweet. What we got comments wise? I'm over here getting all quiet. Well, um, people in chat just talking back and forth with each other. All right, nice. I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna scoop this up. All right, that's my base. That's my base. Let's go with some tomatoes. Oh, it's over there getting loud, ain't it? <laughs> Trying to talk a little shiggity. It's popping a little bit, folks. That's all. What we got in comments then? Any, anybody? Anyone? Mm -hmm. Guys, I'm cutting this tomato. I'm going to dice it. Please be careful. You say, please be careful. What I do is I cut it into a dice like so. You might want to have a pretty sharp knife to do this. And then when I do the dice, I turn it up so I'm cutting it. It looks like diamonds to me instead of squares. Mm -hmm. And then you just go down. Then you get your dice. Simple. I want to rotate your tomato a little bit. Beast Mode 24, he says, what's going on, Pops? Not a <laughs> lot, not a lot. Once I get down to the bottom. Easy Big Barbecue, he says, hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> and I just cut this into strips like so. Uh, Rock Johnson wants to know what kind of knives those are. Uh, my wife bought these. Uh, they're right over there behind me. Let me take a look, uh, see. I'll go take a look, see. Thank you, sweetie. Um. The bam. That's my tomato done. Kaufalon. Oh, Kaufalon? Yeah. There you go. Kaufalon. All right, that's my quick tomato. Let's should I put a couple <laughs> of tomatoes in this week? Let me check my fish. Tina, she says everyone gets quiet when daddy uh, gets quiet when, when daddy cooks. We don't want to miss nothing. <laughs> um Carla Grimes, hello, Daddy Cooks and Daughter. Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, Carla, how are you? Albert Anderson, Phil, what are we sipping on tonight? Uh, Stella. Stella Artois. Stella Artois. <laughs> Give that another flip. I think that's about done. Let me finish up this salad. Still trucking says you are the best. Wish I had your skills. What? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> now we're just going to slice up some... Uh, some rings, some onion rings, cut them really thin, like so. And now I'm just going to cut those in half, and there you go. <laughs> Mikhail, he says, yeah, no rush. I will send you some instructions how to eat it for real. Uh, most of the videos on YouTube just shows how bad it is, but I'll send you an email later this week, and we can sort it out. There you go. There you go. That's easy. I'm going to stack my rings, folks, those of you that can see. You can see. Cooking with James asks, mm -hmm. have you cooked with sturgeon before? Have you cooked sturgeon before? I have never cooked with sturgeon. And I just cut those in half. Now I got half moon rings, folks. And I'm just going to... Let me move, the, move my... Uh... Cooking with a little spices. Hello? Hey, now I'm just going to sprinkle these half moon rings in like that, y'all. With the tomatoes. Uh, Daddy, Booger wants to know if you got her package. If I got her package? The package. The package. I have not. I think she's talking about the t-shirt. I'm going to reach my hands in here, y'all. Give this a quick little stir. Like that. Get some tomatoes up top. Uh, Tam Gee wants to know where you learned how to cook. I'm sorry? They said, where did you learn how to cook from? Um, practice. <laughs> I think I need more tomatoes. You give, well, you what happened I was... I was going to say, you need to give my mom credit where credit is due, Dad. Yeah, okay. well, <laughs> what, what happened is my... Uh, Years, years ago, I was still in the Army. My wife, let me swap this camera here. All right, years ago, my wife, Kim, uh, took Jessica when she was a baby to 
Hattiesburg, Mississippi, where her mother was living. Uh, rest in peace. And she took her mother took ill, so she stayed there for a few months. So me being in the army, you can only eat so much peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Ramen gets old. <laughs> so what I ended up doing was uh, I turned to PBS. All right, Emerald Lagasse, what's his name? The Frugal Gourmet, Julia Child, uh, Justin Wilson, Yan from Yan Can Cook. Those guys turned out to be my friends. And I'd watch the shows, and it was like, wow, that's not too hard. So I started. I started trying this, trying that, out of survival. <laughs> and uh, it seemed to be pretty easy, you know? And after a while, I kind of started developing my own, not style, but my own way of doing things, I started figuring out, you know, uh, uh, certain things. Let me get this fish off of here. Whoops, wrong one. Let's get this fish off. Well, that looks good. I like the other side better. Nice. Turn that down because I got more of these to cook. Okay. All right. You were saying. Um. So anyway, once my kid, once my kid, once my wife came back, once she came back and uh, everything was good. Uh, one year, uh, Kim was really really tired because she was working two jobs at the time back before I was doing as good as I'm doing now. And. Uh, Thanksgiving was coming around, and she, like I said, she was working two jobs, and I was in the Army, and she was dead tired. So I was like, you know what? I'm doing Thanksgiving dinner. So I let her sleep. I got up. Now, granted, she had already prepped the greens. I didn't know how to do that yet. Uh, but I got up, and I cooked the turkey, the ham, chitlins, uh, you know, hog malls and chitlins. I did the stuffing. I did pretty much everything. Uh, that night prior and then when we got up you do the same day stuff, you know potato salad and things like that Which Kim helped me with But she was surprised that dinner was ready and I liked it so much. I was like bump it From this hence this day forward Christmas and Thanksgiving would be mine and With these now that I'm overseas that has prevented me from doing it, but for years Christmas uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas were my uh, were my big cook days and that's how my cooking started. Whoever asked that question. <laughs> All right, this, here's where we're at, guys. Bam, bam. Get out a stir. And this is what you call a salad. The girls can put in their uh, a simple salad. They can put in a dressing of their choice. And ba-dam. Ba-bam. Easy. Fish is done. Let me show you what that looks like. Real quick, fast. Let me wash my hands again. Sorry, folks. Easy Big Barbecue wants to know, have you ever tried honey mustard and uh, hot bacon dressing? Have you ever tried honey mustard and what? And hot Honey mustard and hot bacon dressing. I have not. I mean, I've done honey mustard, but not with <laughs> hot bacon mustard. I have not. All right, so salad's done. Let's move the bowl out the way. I'll show you guys the fish. We're plating, and that'll be the end of this video. How am I doing, folks? How am I doing? All right, artsy fartsy dish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mikhail, he wants to know what kind of oil you cook with. I use, for this dish, I use, ouch, that's hot. For this dish, I use uh, grapeseed oil with a mixture of uh, ghee, ghee uh, clarified butter. Yeah, grapeseed oil for the flashpoint, clarified butter for the um, flavor. For the most part, though, we kind of cook with whatever the recipe kind of calls for. I'd say nine times out of ten when my sisters and I cook, we use olive oil or extra virgin. Yeah, we use extra virgin a lot, but extra virgin, you can't fry. I can't, I'm not going to say you can't. Well, well, see, I don't fry, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fry. My old, old, or is it au contraire, my friend? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to move these out of the way. Getting ready for presentation, folks. Let's see. Let bam. Let's see. T. Roy Cook says, "Good to see you back home, with family brother Phil." Thanks, T. Roy. <laughs> Appreciate you, brother. Here we go. Here's a reveal. 
No, not me. <laughs> <laughs> but bam. There it is, y'all. Get that right in the middle. But bam, there you go. I'm going to give that fish just a drizzle of olive oil. And we are done. Come on, drizzle. <laughs> but bam. There so, he is, guys. What do you think? What do you think? I'm going to give you a different view. Please don't drop this film. Please don't drop it dead. <laughs> Hold on. There we I'm go. I'm trying. There it is, guys. Hold pan on, seared me... or pan uh, fried Back up. parrotfish. I'm sorry. Pan fried parrotfish and a simple salad. All right. There it is. But bam. So you guys saw how simple that was. It wasn't that hard. Fairly, fairly, uh, uh, fairly quick cook. I'm going to take me some photos. Matter of fact, if you guys bear with me, I can do my food porn photos real quick, <laughs> fast, and then <laughs> I can do a taste test for you. So let me do that so you guys get to see how it looks in real time, in action. Real time. All right. Got to catch the light, right? I'll just backtrack on some of these comments. All right. All right, so when we, you were telling your story. Uh, I know. Well, oh, don't sorry. get too technical, Dad. Um, the blinked one says, "Walk with Jen was my show." Um, Booger, she says, "You new husbands take notes now." <laughs> <laughs> the dog father's barbecue. You lost me at Chitterlings. <laughs> oh my bad. I'm sorry. That's not a good picture. Let's do that. <laughs> the blink, not Chitterlings, Chitlins. Chitlins. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Booger says, you two can get your artsy-fartsy dish at Old Time Pottery. This message is not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> that is it. Let me get one quick drive-by. Mm. Jay Harris also knows, have you tried coconut oil? Yes, I have coconut oil in the shelf. I do. You guys bear with me. This is my Instagram. You guys see this in real time. <laughs> so you're going to hear, those of you on my Instagram, this is going to sound really familiar to you. Let's go to video. Oh, Mona's here. Hey, Mona. Here you go. Hold on. Jacqueline and Dad says, looks absolutely delicious, great, and presentation. Nice. Here we go. Hold on. There you go, folks. Pan-fried parrot fish and a side salad on Daddy Cooks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send that out in a second. All right, we'll do a taste test. I got my photos in. Bam, let me get my remote control back up. Tina, she Bam. says, wow, everything looks so fabulous. Fabulously delicious. Fabulously Air delicious. Airmail my plate to the hospital, please. <laughs> Don't say food in the hospital to me. <laughs> All right, we're going to try this out real quick, guys. <clears throat> I'm going to let y'all see the dig. The, uh, let's just get that fin off of there. You don't, you don't need that fin anymore. Get out of there. All right. We're going to just grab a chunk of fish right here. It is firm. Nice. And here we go. Mm. The skin's crunchy. Mm -hmm. Firm fish. I can taste the salt, the pepper, and the garlic. If you want a little bit more salty, you might want to sprinkle a little more on there. But, uh, Oh yeah, that's nice. <laughs> that's real nice. Mm. Oh yeah, I'll wait till I get down to the bones. I'm gonna be like. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it, baby. What are the comments we got? Well, Booger, she says, I am so on the hunt for parrotfish. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, yeah, let's answer a few more questions, guys. It was that simple. You guys saw it in real time. Uh, the house smells good. Mm -hmm. And uh, Tip Top 403, mm -hmm. you the man, Pimp, many blessings to you and your family. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Nisi Moore says, I would need some Texas Pete hot sauce and ranch dressing for the salad. Oh, you know that, right? <laughs> you know, right now the salad's naked. That's like if I didn't try it. What I normally do, guys, is because I'm trying to get a little bit more uh, fight in shape. How embarrassing. <laughs> Can y'all hear me? I pulled up my cord. I, I yanked my cord. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I lost my thought. 
Oh, what I normally do is I just put a little bit of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, or grapeseed oil, and squeeze some lemon over my salad, and that's it. I normally don't do a salad dressing. That is my salad dressing. Tastes good, not fattening. What we got, baby? Oh, well, Mona says, hey, darling lass, how's the camera lady? How's the best camera? Oh, I'm the best. Okay, how's the best <laughs> camera lady? I'm well, I'm well. Um, cooking with James. Since you ain't eating the fin, do you eat the chicken wing flappers? I do. Man, when I eat a chicken wing, <laughs> the only thing left is the bone. I get the gristle <laughs> off the end. I'm one of those guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see, let's see. T Tangia, she says, that looks good. Thank you so much. Booger, uh, Mona says to Booger, I'm with you on the hunt for uh, Nemo with the beak. Well, <laughs> Nemo with the beak. <laughs> nice. And uh, yeah, Booger was replying to Mona. She says, uh, hee hee, Mona never looked at it that way, but the hunt is on. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. All right. Well, all right. That's about it, guys. Um, everything went fine. Once again, um, this is the first time I've done live with these settings so I got it adjusted so that I'm at a uh, 720 now it's HD I'm trying to figure out how to get it to 1080 so give me your critique on this live video how do you like the camera action how's my audio thanks for the adjustments at the beginning folks uh, how's my audio how's my video how's the camera uh, changes how's the pacing uh, how's the quality just let me know in the comments and uh, I'll appreciate you <laughs> I so sure before will. we go, yes, uh, Delonte Perkins uh, said, never heard of that fish before. Where is the fish located at in what area? So uh, can't say it, that. Wait, it's located off of Santa Fe Drive in Yatkin because that's where the <laughs> fish store is. <laughs> but I don't know where it comes from in the world. We do have an Asian fish market. Mm -hmm. So I, I just say Google it I, or shoot me a comment and I'll look it up and I'll answer your comment because I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, so that is about it. We're good. All oh, right. Wait, 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 uh -oh. wait, wait. Uh -oh. Bobby Williamson, are you doing Thanksgiving this year? I enjoy that. Um, unfortunately, no. I will be in parts unknown for Thanksgiving and Christmas this year. Uh, Kim's trying to con me into doing some gumbo <laughs> and freezing it before I leave. I'll see what I can do. No promises. But uh, no, I, I won't make it back. I'll be back in January. I'll miss the holidays, the big ones. Yeah. No, lately it's everyone's been in the kitchen now for Thanksgiving, but when you're home, you're on turkey duty. Yeah, since exactly. You've been, you've been brining lately. Now, the next time I do do. <laughs> See, it works. <laughs> no, the next time I do, the reason I say that because my daughter says, we do do that. It's like, you don't need to say do do. All you have to do is say we do that. But okay. It in works. some ways, it works. Anyhow, <laughs> <laughs> um, when I am home, I will do a uh, turkey. I'm going to brine it. And I want to uh, smoke it. I got the big smoker now. And I want to smoke one with straight wood. We'll see what we can do. All right. We're good? Yeah. All right, folks. Thank you for your time. How long was this? How long have we been uh, on? And how see. many people were in here? I do not see. Well, 58 people with, are with us. Nice. But I don't see how long, long we we've been streaming. on. All right. Anyway, guys, I don't want to be on too long. That's short, sweet, and simple cook. Let me give you one more look-see. Brian Miller, if we keep asking questions, will you stay on all night? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about all night. <laughs> but if you guys keep asking questions, there you go. There's my dish one more time. The fish I dug out of there and I pulled off a gill and my simple salad. But there it is, guys. Ba bam. Oh, see, Booger's with me. She says, we'll see what we can do. Do. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, that's about it. I love you like cook food. I need to cook more food for the rest <laughs> of my family. Uh, you guys be careful, be safe. Once again, let me know how you felt about this live feed in the comments. And I will see y'all when I see y'all. Be safe.